Hello, this is Nick from Laptop Media, and today we will show you how to open the Asus ROG Strix G18 G814. In order to open this huge gaming laptop, you have to undo 11 Phillips head screws. The captive one in the bottom right corner lifts the panel, and you can start prying the front from there. Of course, pop the plate above the LED strap, don't try to pry the slash itself. Lift the front and part of the sides where the strap ends. Then insert a thin plastic tool in between the plate and the end of the LED slash to create a gap. Pry the sides and the back. The inside of the bottom plate houses numerous plastic elements to enhance the internal structural support alongside dust filters for the fans and the speakers. This device is equipped with a 90 watt hour battery which is secured to the motherboard with four screws. The connector is hidden underneath the lower third fan which is fixed to the base with two screws. Undo them to gain access to the connector. Slide to the right the plastic shroud that covers the battery connector and raise it upwards to unplug it from the motherboard. For this process, you can use a plastic tool and lift the connector on the sides. We can see that the bottom fan also cools the chipset. Now, you can safely remove the battery. It has enough juice for 8 hours of videos, a good result considering the 1600p display and the powerful internals. To achieve that, you have to apply the performance mode in the My Asus app and the energy saver preset in the Windows power and battery menu. The left SSD slot, the pre-installed NVMe, and the RAM zone are covered with heat shields. According to ASUS, the two SODIMs fit up to 32 gigabytes of DDR5, 5600 MHz RAM in dual-channel mode. However, since the CPU can support up to 192 gigabytes, this laptop likely wouldn't have issues running a larger amount of memory than the official manufacturer's specified limit. Just like the more premium G834 sibling, there are no thermal pads for the memory modules. There are two M.2 slots compatible with 2280 Gen 4 SSDs. RAID 0 is also supported. Again, the Wi-Fi card is positioned in front of the left NVMe slot. If you install an SSD there, it'll almost fully cover the wireless card, which could lead to connection problems.
There is a small thermal pad below the pre-installed SSD. A laptop in this price class deserves at least a bit bigger pads for its storage options. The huge cooling comprises three fans and four heat pipes, which are shared between the CPU and the GPU. There is one more long pipe for each chip. The U-shaped pipe cools the graphics card's voltage regulators and VRAM chips. We can also spot three big heat sinks on top and two on the sides. A sizable metal plate is placed on top of the GPU, while the CPU relies on a smaller heat spreader. Here, liquid metal is applied on the CPU die only. The RTX 4080-based machines boast this kind of thermal interface on the GPU as well.